Hey, hi guys, and welcome to this week's vlog. So I'm currently about to go test drive a Tesla, which is gonna be really fun. We're gonna test drive the new Model 3. I've been driving the previous Model 3, but it's gonna be really fun seeing if this one's different. I also just unboxed a bunch of clothes from Shein. These are just some of them and I'm obsessed. So this tank top is from Shein and I think it's so cute. It looks super cute under a cardigan. So yeah, I'm gonna make a haul once I get back home. But yeah, this is the full outfit. Okay, so we're done checking out the Teslas and we test drove the new Model 3, which was really nice, but I'm not sure I like the white interior on the new Model 3. I think it looks really, really sporty, but on the old one, it kind of looked more like luxury. I don't know. So I think right now, my favorite is definitely the Model 3 in white exterior and black interior. Like that one is so nice. And I also love that they added the LED lights like in the interior of the car, which just makes it look really luxury. We stopped at an Asian market. So I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. So first of all, I'm so happy we finally got some dumplings. I haven't had dumplings in so long, so I'm really excited. So this one's just the gyoza vegetable and tofu. And then this one is yapachi. Wait, no, it's not Japan. Oh my god, japchi? I don't know how you say that, but it's Korean stir-fried glass noodles. So yeah, these are also plant-based dumplings. And then I got some tofu. This is the firm tofu, which is really good to just put in noodles. And then some pak choy, just a really big bag of pak choy. This is like one of my favorite vegetables for Asian meals. And then we got a bunch of noodles. So we got this one. I think this one we used in Australia and it was so good. And I haven't had it since, so it's gonna be like a throwback. So I got a few of those, four. I probably should have gotten more, honestly, because I'm gonna have like one per day. And then we got these veggie ramen. I don't know what this brand is. I just got like any vegetarian ramen I could find. This is also a vegetarian. I don't know the brand, but it's gonna be fun to try it. And then, I don't know if these are vegetarian. It says sweet soy bean sauce, stir fried ramen. I don't know. And then Samyang ramen. These are vegan. My goal for our new apartment is gonna be having a full shelf, like a basket or something, just filled up with ramen. So if you feel like having a night snack or just an easy lunch, you can always just go and pick some ramen. Like, isn't that such a great idea? Okay, it is now 8 p.m. and we're getting ready to go to a party and I'm trying to pick out an outfit. I picked out this adorable top. It's from Glossens. It's a 
perfect like dressed up top and then I'm just gonna have some suit pants and it's really cold so I think I'm gonna have to do a cardigan so I'm gonna put on this outfit and we're gonna see what it looks like okay this is what the top looks like I think it's super cute honestly this like my favorite going out top but I'm so sad I have to like cover it up with cardigan i there's no way i'm just gonna wear a t-shirt today it's freezing <laughs> okay kind of cute and these are the suit pants Alright guys, it's the next day and it's time for lunch. I'm currently making a little luxury lunch for Molly. So I'm gonna put in some rice and also some beef. This is just beef without any salt or any spices. So I'm gonna put some in her food. She's really excited. <laughs> She's so excited. Okay, now that she's happy, I'm gonna make some lunch for me and my boyfriend. So, of course, we have to try the noodles. I'm gonna try this brand. So, I'm gonna be a little lacy and just put these in separate bowls. And then I'm gonna pour some hot water over. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna wait for like five minutes. And I'm also gonna put some pak choy in. So we're just gonna take like this much and we're gonna wash it, of course. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this like in on the sides here. This is like the ultimate lazy girl lunch, but it's so good and I'm not gonna put in any spices yet because I'm not gonna use all of this water and I don't want any of the spice mix flavors to get lost when I pour out some of the water. So I'm gonna wait with the spices. So while we're waiting for the noodles, I'm just gonna prepare the protein. So I'm just gonna have some tofu. Like I'm literally just gonna cut it up. But for my boyfriend, we have some beef without any spices or anything. Tamale, yeah, which... Molly thinks is her beef. So I'm just gonna add some soy sauce and honey. Okay, so now I just poured out a lot of wa some water and we're gonna add all the spices. Okay, and now it comes to fun stuff. This is what's gonna make it taste so good and creamy. We're gonna add some milk. Okay, and then at last we can add our protein. So for this one, we're gonna do beef. I think it was a little too much, but it's fine. So for mine, I'm just gonna cut up some firm tofu. That was delicious. And now we also ordered some matchas because we were craving matchas after <coughs> a ramen. Are you waiting for a matcha? So I just got done with editing. It is currently 7 p.m. So I've been editing literally all days. So I'm gonna try to catch the sun and just go out for a walk with Molly because I feel like I just need to relax and also get my steps up because I've just been sitting still for literally eight hours. So yeah, and also I wanna spend some time with Molly now. So yeah, let's go out for a walk.
Okay, it's finally time for the Sheen haul. I'm gonna show you what I got. I feel like you really have to know what to look for when you go shopping on Shein because there's obviously so many different brands and so much to choose from but I think I managed to find some actually really good stuff well first of all this shirt I'm wearing right now is from Shein and honestly this one might be one of my favorites it is just like a super basic sweater but I love it it's actually a really good material and yeah I just like the simple design also I love this color like navy blue and then this one was also one of my favorites it looked so good on I'm gonna show you a try on of everything but yeah I got this shirt this is like a perfect going out top because it's really basic but it's also a bit more like fancy with the ruffle design on the sides and then it has a really cute cut so it kind of goes off shoulder on just one shoulder and then I got this black top. I mean, it kind of looks see-through here, but I mean, when you wear it, you definitely like can't see anything. And my puppy's stealing my shirt right now. Hello? She's, okay, she's molesting my shirt. Um, and this one is also really flattering because it has like a super cute cut. So it's kind of like a low V cut, but not too sharp. And then I got this basic long sleeve. This is one of my favorites. I love the color. I think a gray long sleeve just looks so good and it's really like slim fitting. And also it's not too long, but also not too cropped, which I love because I'm kind of trying to move away from only getting cropped shirts because in my closet, I have so many cropped just tops. So whenever I don't want to wear something cropped, I feel like I have nothing to wear. And then I got a similar basic long sleeve in black, but although this one is a different design and it's like super, super stretchy, it's also another material that is kind of a little bit shiny, but I don't know if these are not supposed to be slim fitting or if I just got too big of a size, but these are not like too slim fitting on me. I'm seeing these because I got it in black. I also got it in like a navy blue and a white, just some good basics. And then I think these are like the same material, same kind of shirt, but t-shirts. So I got this one in gray and then a white one and a brown. I've been loving wearing brown recently. I feel like it just goes so well to like if her black jeans and then it also came in a black. So another basic, I got this long sleeve, but this one's really cute. It is a little bit longer here in the front and then shorter on the sides. So it gives you a really flattering look. And then I got these adorable tank tops. So this one in black, it's kind of cropped. So I think I'm either just gonna wear these as like pajamas, but they also work for like an everyday look, perfect for summer. So I got that in white also and agree and i think that is all i feel like i'm missing something but anyways i'll show you a little try on Alright guys, so I'm gonna do a little workout. To be honest, I haven't worked out in probably like two months. No, it just feels like a very long time, but it's probably been a couple of weeks anyways. So 
yeah, it's definitely time to get back into working out. And yeah, I'm so excited in our new apartment. I'm gonna actually sign up for a gym, have like a schedule for working out every week. But until then, I'm just gonna work out at home. So I have my yoga mat. We're gonna set it up right here with the dogs. So it's gonna be a struggle. You already know it. He really likes this yoga mat. I don't know if you can see. It has some like marks here. Yeah, that's because of this guy. literally pushing me off my yoga bed. I don't know, there's something about the texture of it, I think, that he just loves. Okay, so now that spring is here, I thought we'd do a little spring glow up. Basically, I just want to touch up my hair and get a tan and also get my nails done. That's pretty much everything I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with cutting my hair and I'm just going to do it at home because I do not trust the hairdresser with how much I want to cut of my hair. But I feel like my hair's gotten too long. Like it is just so much harder to keep a good quality when my hair is longer because I feel like every time I get a good haircut and like actually cut off some inches my hair just immediately transform and gets more healthy and right now I definitely want to focus more on healthy hair rather than having long hair so yeah we're gonna cut off a bit not too much but we're gonna use the kind of the butterfly method so we're just gonna put it up in a ponytail okay so now it looks like this I feel like a unicorn. The point of dividing your hair like this is getting like long front layers. I think I'm just gonna do like a little trim right here in the front. Wait, this is actually a lot of hair. Like you can see how much more healthy the front part is than the other part. Oh, this is so much. Guys, am I gonna regret it? Maybe. I just cut up so much. My hair feels so short. Let's see how it looks. Actually, it doesn't feel so much shorter. All right, so it is the next day. I just washed my hair yesterday and now I actually started cutting like front layers. Like they're really long and thick right now, but I'm gonna fix them. Cause I feel like it made no difference yesterday when I cut my hair. Okay, it is probably gonna look better once I style it because I need to like actually shape my little front layers. Also now when I put my hair up, I can do these little cute front pieces. Guys, I haven't even styled my hair yet, but I feel like my hair got so much more volume like right here in the front just after I cut some layers. Like I didn't even style it yet, but it's already like kind of falling back naturally and I really like it. I also just did my nails, but I realized I have no nail supplies. I had literally one nail polish and it was a clear one and I didn't even have any like accessories. So I just did like super, super natural, shiny, clear nails. But I think I'm gonna sit down and like order some nail polish. Wait, guys, I just found the cutest nail set on Amazon. I was just looking for like all the different pieces separately, gel polish and then like the UV lamp and nail files and cuticle remover, like all of that. But then I found a set that comes with literally everything and six nail polishes or gel polishes with really, really nice colors. Like I'm definitely just gonna do pink nails and it is only $18. Like this is definitely my goal for spring and summer, getting into doing my own nails. I want my nails to always look really fresh and nice. But yeah, I'll link it in the description in case you wanna check it out. I mean, I obviously haven't tried it yet, but but it seems really good. 